little husk. Board games are silly stuff. I, I'm, I'm done with the kids' games. I'm ready to embrace the outside. I mean, so many things to see. Vermont Avenue, Illinois Avenue, waterworks. There's so much out there, and you're keeping me from passing go and collecting what's mine. When you sound like that, you sound like a baby corn. Hey, I was knee high by last July. Not a accepting world for you out there. Why not? You're a walking, talking, giant piece of corn, Husk. If you go out there now, you'll go directly to jail. Oh, it's those dang protesters again. GMO, no more GMO. I'll go take care of them, son. Husk, you stay here. I'm scared. I do. There's fire. There's there's fire. There's a fire. Bye, Dad. My research! Husk! <gasps> Everything is gone! So Dr. Bakersfield, can you tell me about your reaction to the recent protests that you're building and the destruction of your laboratory? I've had a real change of heart. I think that I've really come to appreciate the views of uh, people who were formerly against me. Come to a doubt science. And I'd like to invite you all to a discussion I'm going to be having at St. Vincent's Apostolic Church at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I used to work and fight for genetically modified organisms and no more. And that's that I know doubt science's role in my life and that medicine really isn't any medicine at all. The only true medicine is no medicine. They do not benefit us. Never vaccinate your children. They'll get autism and they will probably cry themselves to sleep every night. It's us. Am I your enemy? Those people in there are the enemy. You're preaching to the choir. No, I'm lying to them. I want them to believe what they already believe. I just need to reinforce it. What was that in there? I want them dead, Husk. For destroying my lab, attempting to kill you. They deserve to die. They need to be culled from this earth. Culled from this earth? What are you talking about, Dad? With this. Those who haven't been vaccinated will be destroyed! No! No! No, Dad, no! No! There's goodness in them! I've seen it! I've seen it! Ah! I guess I'm resistant to disease. 
subsidized by the government. Subsidized by the government, the world still rejects me. <laughs> Hell of a thing when a man's got good health, plenty of money, and nothing to do. Look, kid, I'm going to tell you a story, a story about real life, a story about your life. One day, there was a boy who had the coolest dad in the world. In fact, the dad was so cool that he realized his family was holding him back. So he left, and the boy grew up without a dad and all the advice and support a father could give. When he got a little older, the boy wished on a star that he could learn all the things that dad would have taught him. The star took pity on him and gave him the ability to learn from people or things the advice his dad would have taught him. How to start a fire. How to cheat at cards. How to throw a football. How to steal a pornographic magazine. Hey, did you just steal that porno? No. All right, have a nice day. But the gift came with a curse. Whenever he learned from someone or something, he grew overly attached and emotionally dependent on them. I finished my pornographic magazine, but Daddy's never coming home. He started obsessing over the people around him, and they would always disappoint him. Something seems off about him when I see him around. Yeah, I don't know. Should, should we still have him sign the petition? You know, things aren't always what they appear to be. So yeah. That, that's stupid. Where'd you hear that? Look, movies out. Oh, hello, sir. We're on our way over to the protest. Can you guys teach me camping? We had the petition. Uh, can, can you teach me how to shave? Well, we, we're pretty busy. Can you? We're up, we're up, we're up. We got. Like, no. We gotta go. Sorry. You need to teach me how to ride a big boy bike. Whenever the boys started getting needy, you know, like your mom, the people would leave. Reminding him again of the pain of his dad leaving. Thanks for taking me to lunch, Dad. I got a promotion today, Dad. Aren't you proud of me? See you in about an hour to an hour and a half, Dad. Then one day he met a woman, a woman that was too vapid and self-absorbed to teach anyone anything. A woman that knew her place in a relationship. So, um, what music do you like? All kinds of music. Will I Am, Fergie, The Black Eyed Peas, and that light skin guy with the long hair. You know, from The Black Eyed Peas. They lived happily ever after. Are you even paying attention to me? Of course I'm even listening to what you're saying. I knew you were special. Do you want to get out of here? I guess we could do that if that's what you want to do. Uh, let's go. Thank you, Dad. You taught me so much. The end. Good luck with life, kid. I'll be right back, hon. I'm going to get something. I'm pregnant. <laughs> You're gonna be a father. I, uh, I've got some stuff to do. What? Where are you going? I have a large seashell collection scattered on the beaches all over the world. Maybe you've seen it. What? Just like that.
can tell what these things are. Hey guys, uh, Charles, this is Bill and Reese, they're a couple of my friends. Guys, this is Charles Greenwich, he's my personal trainer in the gym. Welcome to this fantastic evening filled with adventure, tension, and emotions. So, let's get started. Everyone grab your character sheets and let's start looking through. My sheet says cat. Is that like some type of viking? It has claws, and you are fierce. I, I don't get it. Because you're stupid. And also new. But don't worry. Through our adventure, you will become battle-hardened in the realm of fantasy. <coughs> you actually perform the action in the realm. So, Charles, if you can just do that. But pronounce what you're doing. I put my paw over my ear. All right. Now the rest of us, let's get into our roles. We have Phil, the mother. You are a level seven vacuum master. I grab my plus three spatula, and I inform the group that dinner is ready. Guys, time for dinner! Now entering the fold, we have Joe. Level 11, overworked father in the spice trade. I wield my eternal machete of vigilance. But instead, you will have a stapler of plus three collation. Now, the, now, Reese, you enter the room. You're rebellious. You're young. Enter the room. I express to my parents. Can I eat this upstairs in my room? Mother will roll to the sun. The favor of the meal goes to the mother. No, Reese. You have to eat down here. Ah, oh, I hate this place. I ask the family if we can have one nice meal together. Well, Mom, let's roll to see how your dinner turned out. You've got plus seven to cooking. Dinner is served. Oh, what is this? this oh, this, ah! This looks awful. What? Just I'm allergic to it. I inform the group. Well, if you don't like it, don't eat it. You know, I spent three hours over hot stove. <laughs> Should I be doing something? Remember, we're using our imaginations. Put yourself in the mind of a cat. I could, I could try to look cute. All right, roll for it. All right, fail. You pounce around a little bit with no attention. I uh, express my displeasure <clears throat> with my son. <clears throat> I never should have let you come home with that cat! I implore. But stop telling me how to live my life! Stop yelling! Stop yelling! Think of the baby! There's no baby in this scenario. Can I feed the cat human food? I just want one nice family dinner. Is that too much to ask? Just because you're going through menopause doesn't mean you have to be so dramatic. I'm not menopausal. I'm only 32 years old. I then complain that he does not flirt with me like he used to. He used to be all up in my no-no squares. Okay, I, I threw up in my mouth. Where'd you learn that from? The streets that you hang out with? You know what? Where are you going? Out! A sound in the distance. You realize it's the doorbell. I'll get it! Alright, you both will roll for the door opening. Success goes to Joe. Good evening, folks. It's oh. barge in. A figure enters the room. Wait, kid, you can't be a part of this. You're the dungeon master. Shut up, you're a cat. Well, I'll tell you what that cat did do. He gets into my rutabagas every night and tears up my entire garden. That's it! We're putting the cat down! I've been telling you that for years, honey. I hate that cat. I love you and our son almost as much as I hate that cat. Call Reese back and tell him the good news. Reese! Come home! We're gonna put the cat down! Does this mean we get to be a family again? That's right, son. A family that's cat-free and full of love. What? What just happened? So, Charles, um, <clears throat> the group has actually turned on you. Um, you have become the nemesis of the group, um, but there are more things you can do. Even though you're new and you're just a cat, you have the ability to bring this group together. I don't like the sound of this, but... I roll to see if I can spray the cat in water. Attack success. The cat is drenched in mist. I, I run away. 
No. I roll to use the can opener sound to bring the cat back. This this isn't fun anymore. I roll to use the vacuum cleaner to scare the cat away. <laughs> I open the door and bop the cat with a newspaper. Get! Go on now! Critical hit. The cat is no more. Well done, everyone. Campaign success! Just like that. Alright, guys, I'm done. You guys are awful. Same time next week? Yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Well, that's how you're breaking a new member. Well, that's one way of doing it. Hello? Oh, what up? I'm kind of busy later. If you insist. Finally, no service. Can you hear me now, guys? That's what I thought. I love God and all, but I don't see why I have to take responsibility for some Ninevites I don't even know. Sounds like their responsibility and not mine. All aboard! Headed to Tarshish! Hey, you know where this boat's headed? We're heading towards Tarshish. Swag, I'll take one ticket. Door approaching, batten on the hatches. The storm's not letting up. We have to find out who's responsible for this. Wake up. Dude, what? This is a massive storm, have you noticed? Oh, wow. One of you is responsible for this. Who are you? My name's Jonah. I'm trying to get away from something. What are you trying to get away from? My God, he asked me to do something that I don't want to do. What did he ask you to do? He asked me to go to Nineveh and tell these people what's going to happen to them if they don't change their ways. I can't have you on the ship. There are people's lives at stake. I have to get you off the ship, but I'll be praying for your safety. How did I get in here? What am I gonna do to get out? How do I have service here? Sup, bro. I'm really sorry for disobeying you. Frowny face, frowny face, frowny face. I'm ready to spread your grace to others. Well, it's in his hands now. I think I'll pull through. I have to shave and clean up. Time to go to Nineveh. Where are you going? Nineveh. Why are you going there? That place is crazy. Because God told me to. The sun better get out of my face. I hate puppies. Guys? Guys, I got something to say to you. Chocolate mousse and burritos. Wait.
Yeah. Your people, they need to change the air of their ways. All right, everyone, sit down, shut up. Get your shirts back on. <laughs> wow, thanks to the message and grace of God, these people are able to build a community and even a church. Next time I get a message from God, I'll be sure to listen the first time. Asylum Lake. Based on the coroner's report, the event happened seven hours before discovery, which puts the estimated time of death around 1 p.m. This is the second death that was outlined in a box that was drawn in the ground, most likely by the assailant. Cops don't seem to have any leads, which doesn't surprise me. True justice is going to come from true people, not people with a gun and a badge and a paycheck. Cops are reactive. You and I need to be proactive. This is S.J. Denison, signing off. Hi there. Perfect. This box is a symbol. Maybe this killer has more than one of them. What if there's more than one box? There's a box around everybody, but as these deaths keep happening, what if there's a larger design? We've plotted out some ideas and we'll be investigating this afternoon. Click the evite link if you want to join our investigation team. This is the uh, meetup for finding that box killer? Yep. And I've only got three readers on my blog, so I guess it's just us. some setbacks. You weren't supposed to call the cops. 
You weren't supposed to die <coughs> in this basement. But people, they keep interfering. They used to say I was such a nice boy. They used to say I was such a square. Now, they say I'm unstable. Now, they want to put me back in the box. <laughs> when this is all over, they're gonna stick a needle in you. <laughs> to that, I have one simple question. Who's going to find out? Huh? The people who read your blog? It's just you, me, and your friend that I took care of earlier today. Hmm. And when you're all gone, my perfect square will be complete. Your perfect square. Yes. See, it's... Well, here, let, let me show you. You just... All I have to do is, and then, and that, and that, yep. That is not a perfect square. What, what do you mean? Well, the angle's all wrong. The second, second dot, right what? there, right, right there. You're looking straight at me. <clears throat> Show me. Okay. Quick. Oh, well, see, this is the problem. See, my dad always taught me, you measure twice, and you cut once. This is S.J. Dennison, reporting to you. I have one simple question. <laughs>